Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at the converse of Lagrange's theorem. Now you must be thinking that in the previous video, we have said that the converse of this Lagrange's theorem, this is not true, right? So this was the case. Now uh, we are saying our group is a finite group, right? In that case, if it is a finite group, then uh, suppose its order is n, right? Suppose we say that the order of the group G is n, then all those values of D which divides n, right, which are divisors of n, so G would have subgroups of that order. For the converse part, we are saying D is a divisor of n, then it is not sure to us that uh, it would have a subgroup which is of order D. However, if the group is finite plus cyclic, right, we have added one more condition of cyclic groups to it. So under the restriction of cyclic groups, if D is a divisor of the order of the group, then that uh, group G would have a subgroup which is having order D, right? So this is the converse part and this is the result. So here, Formally, the result tells us that if G is finite cyclic group, right, if it is finite cyclic group and D is some non-negative integer that is a divider or, or, or divisor of the order of the group G, which is N, we are assuming it to be N, then it is sure that the group G would have a subgroup which is of order D here, right? Okay, so for the proof of this, we first of all assume that G is a finite cyclic group which is having order n and we assume that small g is some element within this group G such that it would serve as the generator of this group G. Why generator? Because the given group G is a cyclic group, right? Okay. If this is a cyclic group, then that means that the order of group G is equal to the order of the uh, subgroup which is generated by G. If this is according to the uh, property that we have studied previously when we were learning about cyclic groups, right? And moreover, both of them, because G act as a generator, so the order of the generator is equal to the order of the group in case of cyclic groups. So therefore, in this case, all of them, they are equal to this number number n right moreover if we take any integer suppose let's call that to be small z right such that uh, we can have this d into z is equal to n why because d is a non-negative integer that is a divisor of z so we are assuming this thing already that d is a divisor of n if d is a divisor of n we may write n as d into some integer uh, which is which we are saying as z plus the remainder as zero right so this is how we may write it so therefore dz is equal to n and what was n n was the order of the group itself and it was also the order of this generator g here the element g here now for this element g we are now taking its power z this particular integer and we are constructing a cyclic group out of this generator g to the power z right so we are calling this as a one of our group now what we because we know this small g is a member of the capital g which was the generator of the group g so according to the closure property g to the power z is also present in g right so therefore this cyclic group which is generated by this element g to the power z that would form as a subgroup of the group g because g g raised to power z is a member of the group g right so what would be the order of this group which is generated by g to the power z it would be equal to the order of the element g to the power z it is according to the same property that we have used here right so therefore we would have now this is again a, a result that we have already studied so let me show you the result here okay so you may see here the result that if a is some element of order n in a group right if so th therefore we may have the group which is generated by this a to the power k it is equal to the group which is generated by a to the power g c d of n k and moreover the order of this element a raised to power k was n divided by the g c d of n with k so we are using this same thing over here hence we have here the result that uh, the order of g to the power z is equal to order of g divided by the gcd of z with n and what is n n was our uh, zg 
dz right so it is dz and the order of g that is again dz so it is dz so we have dz here and the gcd of z with the dz it is obviously z so this z and z they, they cancel out each other's effect so that we have d as the uh, number here which is nothing but the order of the group which is generated by g to the power z now it is quite clear that the order of this group uh, g to the uh, which is generated by g to the power z is g and moreover this cyclic uh, group g to the power z which is generated by g to the power z acts as a subgroup of the group g and this is what we wanted to prove here for this particular theorem so i hope you understood the result well uh, well that is it for this video thank you for watching